Say hi to everybody, Andy. What's up? Is it cold out or what? Oh, it's balmy. It is cold it's out here. 14 degrees. We are going to hook up the Alumacraft guys. Bye, That's right. Love you too, baby. Give me a kiss. You're in the video. Mwah. Happy wife, happy life. You know it, boys. See you later. All right, guys, just came back from Florida just a couple of days ago where it was 80 degrees and I was hooking giant tarpon from shore. Now it's January 2021. I am going to get out for my first open water boat trip of the year. My buddy Andy came up. We're going to go up for just a couple of hours. And the reason we're going to do it is we just I just got a bunch of brand new Dakota lithium batteries. So I switched out my batteries um, and we're just going to run the trolling motor for a little bit. But I figured, hey, maybe we'll catch some fish. Maybe we'll put the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down coming right at you. We'll see. All right, guys, we are getting ready to launch the Alumacraft here. Um, one thing I can tell you is I have been really, really hard as a fishing guide on my equipment. As you can see, it's the middle of winter. I'm one of the only guys out here doing trips, breaking ice, um, fishing all year round on the Great Lakes. And I, had, I cannot say enough great things about this rig that I have ran. It doesn't leak any water. It handles big waves really well. You know, just because it's got a big splash guard, it's got, the, you know, the 2X hull, it's got, you know, super thick hull, so it's just a really smooth ride. If you're looking for a really good, affordable boat, um, I would really consider uh, the Alumacraft brand. They're a really, really awesome boat, and whatever motor you want to throw on there, throw on there, so. All right, I'm gonna help Andy. We're gonna put a little bit of salt down here, and, uh, just to make our lives a little easier. Mainly I just do two tracks right here, Andy, like where the tires would come up, you know, from there up, you know, because basically up to about here, you only need yeah, here. And and maybe we'll put a a little bit on the uh that ice right there. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna salt it and get ready to rock. Alright guys, so we made it, we got the boat launched. The actual boat was stuck to the bump, the bunks a little bit. That does happen. Like today when I pull the boat off, because it's so cold and I drive home, my boat is actually gonna freeze to the bottom of the bunk. So tomorrow morning if I come back out, go to launch, it's gonna be stuck there and I gotta wait and let it sit in the water, sometimes as long as 10 minutes and just kind of rock until it peels off the bunks, or you have to have a heated garage, which as you know I don't have. I do have a Attached garage, just not heated. But the other thing I like to do is just for a minute when I pull out, I like to let my trailer just sit there and let the excess water drain off. That way when I pull up, in the winter there's not a whole line of water. Basically you're just creating a big ice trail from your trailer. So hopefully the fish are biting. Let's go. All right. I'm gonna walk out here. Andy's gonna pick me up. So uh, I'm curious, where are, uh, where are you guys, if you're watching our videos today, I'm just curious, where, where are you watching from? Where do, you, where do you live? What do you fish for? I'm here in the Midwest and I fish for everything. Today, big browns. Tomorrow, I think we might go after big perch or crappies on the ice. So that's what's cool about living here on the Great Lakes is we have inland lakes where we can be ice fishing now. And we got the big lake here that rarely freezes over. But boy, it is cold if you're gonna come out here. Nice work, Andy. Nice work. Got my chauffeur, Andy, picking me up. Thank you, brother. Perfect. Can you hit it in reverse? Yep. All right. Well, we're here brought my Mr. Buddy heater just in case. What do you think? All right, look at that. We got ice. We got birds on the ice right here. 32.1. Ooh, she's chilly, brother. 
she's chilly hopefully guys I'm, I'm really just hoping we can catch one or two nice big trout here in the winter in the boat because this is something you can do when it's really cold like this it's hard to cast a lot just because your rod tips and your eyelets all freeze up um, sometimes if there's ice flows it can be hard to even troll but what you can do and what we're gonna do today is, is there's a really big uh, kind of wastewater treatment plant here that you can see behind me right now and there's a discharge and outflow you just basically go to the end of the channel hang a right and there's an outflow and a lot of times in the winter those fish will just congregate at times certain days hopefully today is one of those days they're gonna be there and then we're just gonna drop down jigs and plastics jigging spoons we brought some minnows um, minnows are here yeah oh wait what about we got bait we got we're gonna use spawn maybe some shrimp so we brought everything uh, we've got a couple hours to fish it's supposed to get really windy in a little while here so we'll see what happens Whoo! it's chilly out here i'm seeing some fish right here near the bottom i don't know if you can see that on the live scope so what we're going to do is we're going to drop down and show you a couple rods and baits that we're going to be using here all right we're good oh my god it is so cold you guys like we've been out here 15 minutes i've already had to change one battery so hopefully we'll have enough batteries and juice i'm shoving the batteries on the inside of my pockets here just to keep them warm now i just want to quickly go over some of the tackle that we're going to be using if you're ever going to come out here and try to catch big browns or winter trout fishing now the first thing that works really good is just a a bell sinker a two-way swivel and then a hook with a spawn bag or a piece of shrimp on it um, we'll show you some spawn in a little bit the other thing that's going to work really good is uh, a jigging spoon here these are some of our new hot spoons and uh, some prototypes and stuff we're just out here testing out but jigging spoons will work really well and then uh, jigging a plastic will work really well hair jigs work really well out here and then a three-way. So if you want to use like a three-way rig, I don't know if you're familiar with the three-way, three-way swivel, dropper weight, and then a hook. And right now I got a net. So you just put a minnow on that or a spawn bag on your hook. We've got minnows, we've got spawn, we've got jigs and plastics. But do we have fish? Here we go, we're gonna start. Just leaving the rod holder, if they're biting really good, you can hang on to it. And then we'll uh, we'll jig with one rod and drop a drop a rod here with the other. If they're biting good, usually as soon as you drop it down, you know, they're gonna eat that jigging spoon or they're gonna eat the spawn. I've got uh, eight pound mono here with an eight pound leader. Seems like a lot of the fish I saw in the live scope. We're, we're near the bottom. Am I turning the camera on? No, no. Oh, there's one. That didn't take long. Oh, heck yeah. I'm on. I'm on, Andy. Didn't take long. What do we got? What do we got? Little brownie? Little steelhead? Whoa, 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 whoa. You want to grab that net, buddy? All right. We just got out here. I just dropped the spawn bag down. Andy hasn't even started fishing yet. He let me sneak in front of him and start fishing. And what do we got a little rainbow all right we'll take it now i'm gonna keep all these fish in the water not let them flop around in the boat get them unhooked if they swallow it i'm just gonna cut the line if they're hooked up top we'll just get them unhooked and drop them back let's see how big this little guy is. he's not that big he's got it down pretty deep though so i'm just gonna snip the line with these little hooks they'll be fine <sighs> I'm just using a real tiny little single hook guys so if they swallow that spawn bag I don't want to go in there and do damage to their to their lungs and stuff like that but just a nice little rainbow I'm gonna get them back fish number one Andy I'm on the board all right there we go on the board that net's gonna ice up in a little bit good old clam catch and release net is going to be ice net soon watch hey rob who's ice fishing right now we are going to do some ice fishing videos but for the time being we're going to 
drop down. What do we got going on here? Just wrapped up. Oh, no, we're good. We've got a couple of our ice fishing rods here. Drop down a couple ice fishing rods. I need to change this line. This is from last year. Look at this. See this line, Andy? How it's all like twisted. I think I need to change it. I'm gonna go to the bottom. See if I can catch one on my 40 inch hot rod. My favorite ice fishing rod. You got spawn out back there? Yep. So when they hit that spawn bag a lot of times, if it doubles over, I just start reeling really fast just to tighten it up. And then I lift up and pull it up. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm on, Andy. I'm on. Oh! Broke off or what? No, I still got him. I still got him. What the heck was that all about? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I still got him. He's little. I got it, Andy, for now, I think. I don't know how big he is. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait, wait a second. Wait a second. All right, on the hot rod. We hooked up. Yeah, you can if you want, sure. We hooked up on the hot rod. All right, all right. I don't know how big he is. Fighting like a little little brownie, nice little head shakes. You just hang that, hang that clamp that right there, Andy. The GoPro, and just so it shines right up, just like that. So it shines right up on my mix grillet, Andy. Just uh, be ready. We're going to net them here. All right. Hooked up on the hot rod. We own the hot rod. What do we got? Whoo, my hands are cold. Whoo. We got one, Andy. We're out here, brother. We're on. Heck yeah. Well, that's all we want to do is catch a couple fish. All right. I'm back from Florida. Catching some browns. Got a little rainbow. What do we got here? Rainbows or browns? What do we got? Oh, there he goes. We got a big brown or what? A nice fish, I think. Heck yeah. Hooked up on the hot rod. Boy, this rod is all full of eggs and goo from last winter. I'm gonna go home and re-spool this. Just use an eight pound uh, Trilene XL. For most of my line here in the winter it's just it's a really good friendly line it's a nice fish andy heck yeah hands are getting cold though hands are getting cold guys whoo we got an eight pound test i'll tighten it up a little bit but all right here we go we're gaining on them Feels pretty good, actually. It's pretty heavy. Can be a hey. Can you say, Big Mama? All right. Got my guys out ice fishing. We're boat fishing. Pick your poison. Want to come out here and freeze your ass off in the boat, or freeze your ass off on the ice? Whatever. Whatever. Actually, in the shacks, you're a lot warmer. Okay, okay, okay. We got head shakes, Andy. We got head shakes. We got head shakes. Any guesses, guys? How big you think this fish is going to be? Five pounds? Six pounds? Seven pounds? Three pounds? Brown trout or steelhead? What do you think, guys? Andy, what's your guess? Brown or steelhead? Yeah, brown. Andy says brown. I'm going to say, uh, I'll say eight pound brown. Open bigger, but on a little hot rod, on a little ice rod, guys. We have a 15 year warranty on these rods. Heck yeah. Some of the best customer service, in my opinion, guys. We're getting into ice fishing rods, long rods. I want to make great rods with just great warranties for application specific stuff. These are really made for ice fishing, but I figured I'd just bring one out here and Dropped it down, look at that. We hooked up on the hot rod! Man. I mean, drag feels good. I don't want to lose this guy. Could it be bigger than I think? I mean, you know, if this was a hole, I, I'd be fighting him the same way, Andy. Woo! 
come on now. Watch, he'd be about a four pounder. He's like, what the hell? There he goes, man, a couple, of, oh, come on, stay on, no, no, he's coming at me, he's coming at me, here we go, Andy, he's coming close, I think I've just seen him, a lot of head shakes, Andy, a lot of head shakes, let's go, he's fighting like a steelhead, he's kind of fighting scrappy, just like my puppy, he's nice and scrappy, oh, shit, here we go, Andy, ah, uh, well, just whatever you get a chance, don't want to lose him at the net so take your time let's see how big is he oh he's nice he's real nice. Oh, nice nice brown nice brown oh i gotta stand up now i gotta stand up it's a nice silver chrome sea frown brown heck yeah oh yeah big mama big mama on a hot rod andy i like big mamas and it ain't no lie oh lordy heck yeah whoa 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 get back here now come on oh yeah let's get her in there Get her in there. Absolutely, positively, Bam. big mamas. Yes, we that's a good start, we... right? Just want to come catch a couple fish. So we wanted. Oh my God, my hands are freezing that's right now. One. I know, that's a good one. We got one in the net right now. Heck yeah, Andy. So right away we started fishing uh, spawn and uh, we haven't even had a chance to throw the jigging spoons much and spawn is just getting railed right away you can put a little more pressure on them that's my net see if you can run them up front here and i got this one in the net yeah there you go perfect oh yeah Oh, looks like a mama, Andy. Looks like it could be a mama. Might even have some eggs for the egg collection facility. Got her. All right, guys, we just started and got a double header in the net almost, you know, like a minute apart. Is this S? Oh my God, this is so awesome. I can't talk right now. I was trying to say awesome and something else. And look at the net freezing up. There you go. Brown trout heaven. So we're gonna take the eggs out of this fish. And then Andy said his buddy will take it and smoke it. So we're gonna hold the bag here. And I'm just gonna start, like you can see how some of the eggs are coming out naturally. I don't know if you can see that, but we're just gonna take as many eggs as we can because this is what we call liquid gold, guys. Getting brown eggs is probably the best eggs you can get here fishing in the Great Lakes. And every year if I've got to kill a few of them, unfortunately we, we do give them away and guys will eat them up, but that's our bait, so. Andy is hooked up. I will grab the net. Oh yeah. All right, all right, Andy says, oh yeah. I say, oh yeah. I say, big mama. Andy's using a three-way. I'm using a two-way. Two-way swivel, three-way swivel. Both of them get your bait down to the bottom. We are fishing in 33 feet of water right here off the discharge in the Milwaukee Harbor, guys. Get them lifted up. Nice buck. See for Ellen Brown. Right in the net. Yes, Andy. Heck yeah, brother. Nice. I'm going to hand you that net. We got rods everywhere. Welcome to the, the USS Most Messy Vessel. USS Hadia. That's it. We'll take it. You need a pliers or what? Scissors is down there. Can you see the hook or no? Yeah, Just try not to grab her by her gills. Yeah. yeah. So, yep. 
mean, if you need to, you can, but you know. This is nice, got it. Now, and then just tail grabber, Andy, or him. Let me hop down here. Oh, shit. Man, I almost fell in. Just hold him up by the tail and the belly, show him real quick, and they'll dump him back. Great fish, buddy. Look at that. Nice. German buck brown sea. Oh, that's actually a Ger uh, German. It's got an adipose fin. Probably an older little German buck. All right, get her, get him back. Nice job, buddy. Nice work. All right. How are those hands feeling? Feels good. Look at this. You got ice, ice all over your sleeves. You got ice in the net. Oh, chilly. But that's okay. We're catching fish. I'd have to say spawn is probably the best brown trout bait right here that you can use. I've caught more fish, more brown trout and steelhead on this bait in the last 25 years than anything else. Now you can catch them on a on a crankbait, and you can catch them on a on a jigging spoon and plastics and all sorts of stuff laying around on the bottom of my boat. But I tell you, getting these brown trout eggs like we're getting and then using them for fresh bait, it is a very, very good bait to use. Um, again, these fish do not naturally reproduce. Very, very few of them do here, so they're mainly all stock. That's why I will keep a few. If these were wild fish, I wouldn't be keeping these females that were loose eggs. No way. Oh, there's bite, Andy. Oh. Just missed one right away. Just dropped it down. I get this one, Andy. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. That feels okay. That feels all right. Yeah. All right. been a pretty good little beatdown session. Rainbows, browns, and a couple of clowns. Ooh, nice fish, Andy. Nice fish. Pretty good. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, nice fish. Another nice mama on the hot rod, baby. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, Andy's on. Andy's on the bottom. <laughs> and he's on the bottom. I'm hooked up. He and so am I. All right. Yes. Nice. Look at this. Real nice looking fish. I really try not to overhandle them, guys, and swing them in the boat. I like to just keep them in the water and hook them in the water, especially in the winter when it's really cold like this. And that's what I'm going to do with this female spawned out. I'm just going to unhook her and let her go. Grab my pliers and let her go. Oh, the hook just popped out. There's the hook. Nice fish, though. Really nice fish. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna hold her up. I'm just gonna get her back. And there she goes. All right, buddy. Long rod versus short rod. It's all right. Nice fish. All right. Oh yeah, real pretty fish. Mine's silver. Actually, mine's better than I thought he would be. Holy cow. He's a little better than I thought. Another double. Heck yeah, buddy. I got me a mama brown. I got a daddy. You got a daddy. These are just juveniles, though. We're hoping for one of them big mamas. Uh, I'll just net them both. Whatever. I can unhook mine, or you can... Another double trouble. Uh, mine's right at the beat. I'll be able to get mine. All right. You're going to just swing them over here, or what? Yeah, yeah. I'll just put them in the net here. I'll unhook them real quick. Right in the corner. I'll show them and put them back. They're pretty, pretty brown, Andy. There you go. There's your, your hook. Is that line starting to twist up on you? Yeah, it happens in the winter. Look at this pretty brown Andy just caught. I don't know if you could see all the colors of that thing, but real pretty. All right, buddy, gonna get him back. 
There's one. Been a good little beatdown session, buddy. Oh, yeah. I like it. And there goes my hook out. This is a spawned out female. So see how thin she is? The other one was a male, this is a female. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. oh, she might have some eggs. Let's see. She might have a little eggs. Eh, he'll let her go. It's good shape. Those fish are in great shape. All right, guys, we got a bunch of strong wind starting to pick up. We had a great time this afternoon. I just got back from Florida, starting off with a bang, 2021, catching some nice big browns, showing you the best bait to catch winter browns. Definitely, probably spawn, how to fish it. Hey, thanks, Andy. Thank we you. did the long rod versus the short rod. And uh, I gotta say, I think Andy took the dub today on the long rod. Caught the, the same, we got redemption as well. So thanks for watching our videos, trying to crank out new videos and new content every week. I appreciate any comments and thanks for subscribing guys.